All right, we're live. Hey, everybody, it's Gina at Art of Skincare. So glad to be with you this week. Uh, I had a bumpy week last week moving into my new house and having a cast on my hand. I've got my cast off. So I thought it'd be fun to do a demonstration today. And what I want to demonstrate for you is um, a facial routine that you can do morning and night. And it really goes after those deepening lines around the face, around the lips, around the eyes, the forehead, really helps me to soften up this line in between here. So I'm going to be using some um, products that have a topical, that have a filler. It has the Sculptra filler, but we're applying it topically and driving it into the skin. So we're giving that filling, which is going to be that plumping action. And then I'm going to also be using some products that are a topical Botox. It has this Oligo Peptide 91 that is a, a topical Botox that we can put on. It's going to help to really relax and soften this line. You can see I didn't use it today specifically because I wanted to really show you guys before and after as we go through this process how it really helps with those lines and it really helps me with these lines around my upper lip as well. So this is from Tove. All these products we're going to be using for Tove. Quick rundown. Um, ben has them down in the description so you can see them. But we're going to be using the Hevatox products. We're going to be using Cavapla today. And we're going to be using the Hevatox Gold Serum. You can see all that beautiful gold in there. And we're going to be using the Promoter Repair Moisturizer. And what's so exciting about this is that Tove upgraded the, the Promoter Cell Moisturizer. And they made it more moisturizing, which was really important for a lot of our clients post-menopause, people in really dry climates with really dry skin. They needed more moisture. But we had a lot of you guys that were using this who were acne prone and blemish prone and you loved it. So when they came out of this, we immediately reached out to them and said, hey, will you please make us an acne safe version again so that we will have both? And at first they were like, hmm, I'm not sure. And then they went to their labs and started testing. And they actually sent us products to test with them to make sure that we really liked them. And so we now have an acne prone um, formula and a healthy aging formula. They're both healthy aging, but one is going to be better. It's a little lighter for those of you who are blemish prone. So we'll be talking about those today. Also the new sunscreen from Dr. Este, which is absolutely mind blowing and also acne safe. And we'll also um, touch base on, you know, how to get the most out of these products when you're using them all together. So the number one thing that you have to do when you're using the Cava Plus system is you have to really cleanse your skin well. That means you either have to do two cleanses or you've got to do my three minute detox massaging cleanse, which you can find on YouTube and see how that works. Um, or, and you need to make sure that you're not just using a creamy or milky cleanser that doesn't rinse completely clean from the face. Your skin needs to be squeaky clean, but not overly dry. Um, Dr. Este makes a wonderful moisturizing cleansing gel. You can do that with our detox massage. It works great. They also make this enzyme, um, powder deep. You won't be able to read it. It's too white. <laughs> All that white writing enzyme, deep clean powder wash. And I'm going to do that today with you guys. Oh, Ben, I didn't get any water <laughs> right there. My water bottle. We're going to use cold water to wash my face today. So we didn't fill up the bowl. Fill my bowl with that. Thank you. So let's get the hair out of the way and let's just go for it. If you guys have some of this stuff at home, you can follow along with me. Have some fun. Give yourself a little facial. Now, all of these products should be used on the neck and on the chest as well. So I'll just unzip a little bit. See if I can, yeah, tuck this under my undershirt here. That way we can do the whole thing. So let's get out the enzyme powder wash. This is fabulous because you're not paying for the water and we're not having to transport water around. You're just going to put the enzymes. Let me take off this ring because I don't need this ring on while I'm cleansing. Here we go. 
So I'm just gonna pour some of this powder into my hand. You can see I have a nice bit of powder. Now I'm gonna get the other hand wet with water. I need a whole bottle of water. <laughs> Tell him, I'm gonna need all that water over there, Ben. I'm gonna be, water. that was all of the water? Yeah. Do you have water in your container? Give it to me. <laughs> it's really cold. <laughs> it's okay. Now I'm going like this. So I had one hand with water and one hand with the powder and I'm foaming it up. And there it goes. Get this nice white on there. And now I could just start cleansing my face. I'm going to do a, a good cleanse because I want my Cavapla to really foam well. There's nothing more frustrating than doing a video for you guys and not having my Cavapla foam up. So I'm going to make sure and do a really good cleanse. I usually use my knuckles like this. I'd love to do that. But with my broken fingers, you can see I can't quite bend them yet. <laughs> so I'm going to be one-handed. What I've been doing a lot since I can't cleanse my face with two hands is I've been using the wave. So I'm going to grab my wave now. I'm going to turn it on really quick. I'm going to go ahead and hit the on off. I'm going to go to mode. I'm going to get the sonic blinking and I'm going to push shift five times to get it to full sonic. Then I'm going to go down to positive because that's what I want for pulling and cleaning. And I'm going to hit shift five times. And then I'm gonna go down, hit mode, and go down to massage, hit that. And then I'm just gonna hit confirm, turn it on. So now I have it going really well. Add some more water to my face. And now I can get a better cleanse going and not have to use my hand, my injured hand. I love this device because it's going to help boost cleansing. It's going to pop impurities up out of the skin and pull them out. At the same time, it's also very hydrating. So it's going to be pushing some water into the skin. One of the most important, well, there's two important things about cleansing, right? Is you do want to get all the environmental toxins and things off of your skin and impurities off the skin. But you also want an important, another important asset or aspect of cleansing is that it pushes that water into the skin. I can't tell you how many of us have dehydrated skin and cleansing is really important for getting the water into the skin. The cleanser is going to help break that skin barrier so that water can actually penetrate in. If you're using an oil to cleanse, you're really missing out because you've just got to have that water penetration. People who use an oil cleanser and a lot of oils on their skin almost always have very dehydrated skin because your skin is made up of mostly water. It needs more water than it needs oil, believe it or not. <laughs> Here's Tanya. Awesome. You made it. Welcome, Tanya. Welcome, Sherry. I'm glad you guys are here. You found me today. Okay, so now I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to rinse off the head just a little bit because I want to use it in a moment to drive my serums into the skin. But now I've got to get rinsed. Got this wonderful, nice water. This is our AOS Lush Cloth. We've been going through different colors. Right now, I believe we have a pretty kind of brown in. This green was the prior generation to the brown. We just keep using up all the colors our manufacturer has. They can't keep up with our production. They didn't quite anticipate how many of these we were going to sell this year. So we sold out of all the white ones, and we sold out of the pink ones, and we sold out of the, char uh, the, yeah, the charcoal ones. Sold out of the green ones, and now we're on to a, a brown shade. <laughs> all right. Get all those enzymes off. Skin really nice and clean. 
you can use your hand to really rub your skin and see if there's still any enzyme. If it feels slippery anywhere, you know that you didn't quite get it all off. And you can go back and rinse again in those areas. Kimberly wants to know about a tool that warms up. So the MSB, which is also called the My Skin Buddy, that warms up. So you would like that. And also the light stems, the light stem for wrinkles, that really warms up as well. She likes the warming of the eye rejuvenator. And everybody's different. You know, some people don't want any warming and that's why they like the wave. The wave does not warm up, so. Um, and that's why I like it. But if you want warmth, then it won't be the tool for you. Go for the My Skin Buddy, right? Okay, let's see if we can get this out of the way again. All right, here we go. All right, now the Hevatox pads. These pads have a polyhydroxy acid in them and a bit of glycolic acid in them. And when you get them, it comes with a little bottle like this and your container with the pads. What you're going to do is open this bottle and pour it completely and saturate your pads with it. So the benefit of the polyhydroxy acids is that they provide a retexturizing of the skin. They really smooth the skin. They help to clear out the pores and they also help to reduce the swelling around the pores and really smooth the skin out. They also perfectly set up the skin so that it can better absorb all of the serums that we're going to be putting on in this system. Now, because the Hevatox pads have the polyhydroxy acid and because uh, Tove knows that inflammation leads to aging, they've combined in these pads a number of really great ingredients that are anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, um, they reduce redness. It can be used on eczema, psoriasis to really calm the skin. Um, let's see, it's got the, let me look at the name for you so I can tell you what's on there. It's the Thermogen, which is an antioxidant and antibacterial and anti-inflammatory. Thermogen also is used to heal burns and it's used for scar tissue. And then it also has an Endermaclear, which is the antibacterial, anti-inflammatory. It works for dermatitis. It's used for ex eczema and psoriasis. And it really helps to improve the skin barrier. So what's beautiful and unique about these peel pads is that they have those extra ingredients in there that really help to nourish and strengthen your skin barrier rather than just being pure exfoliation. A lot of exfoliators like glycolic acid by itself can cause a lot of inflammation. And of course, that leads to aging. So by combining it with these other ingredients, it isn't over, it isn't too strong. It's not over exfoliating. So you use these pads twice a day. And when you get your pads, you'll see that one side has some texture and the other side is smooth. So the first thing you want to do is use the textured side. Now use the textured side and really massage it into your skin everywhere. These are going to help brighten up these little dark spots I have. It's going to help uh, reduce the texture on my forehead. I have a lot of texture from the summer across my forehead. I tend to get little clogged pores through here, so it's going to help with that. And it's going to help smooth that texture of the skin across my upper lip. So but I'm also going to take it here because you guys know I had COVID this summer and I just did too much time reading in bed and looking at myself on a bed and I created these lines right here and they are really softening up, but I'm going to continue to soften those up and lighten the darkness from them with the pads. Now we can all, especially if you're a side sleeper, you can get little lines on the chest. So we're going to get that chest area. And I also pick up hyperpigmentation on my chest. So I'm going to get that. And then once you've done that, you're going to flip your pad over to the smooth side and you massage again with the smooth side. And the smooth side really helps to press the product down into the skin. I also do this on my eyebrows. How many of you guys notice that as you age, your eyebrows get thinner? 
I've really found that using these kind of pads or my toner, uh, corrective toner over the eyebrows and in the eyebrows really helps to stimulate hair growth there and also keeps my eyebrows soft so they're not getting wiry and crazy. So around the lips, down the neck, This shirt's going to be annoying today. There we go. And on the chest. Now, if you are a Neogenesis user, your next step, I'm going to keep it simple today for those essential people that just want the, the very basic essentials to get this job done. Um, as you guys know, I'm not an essentialist. I'm kind of a skincare fanatic and I'll layer lots of things. And if you're like me, my next step would be to put on Neogenesis Recovery Serum. But today I'm going to skip that for you guys. And I'm going to go straight to my Cavapla. Now in the daytime, I only use two or three pumps of Cavapla. At nighttime, I like to use more. So I probably use six pumps of Cavapla at nighttime because I want to do almost like a mask, a sleeping mask of Cavapla on my skin. So now, interesting to do one-handed. I just gently apply here and there. And look, you guys, it's turning white. When it turns white like that, you want to keep rubbing it in or you want to use your TMP or you want to use one of your... Um, or you can use the wave or an ultrasound device. I'm gonna put this one on negative to drive stuff in times five, massage. And then I'm gonna use some photons with it. This time I'm gonna to go to green because I have hyperpigmentation. Push confirm. And now I'm gonna use this to work all that foam into my skin. Because all of this is about really driving that in. So Cavapla has that PLLA in it. PLLA is what's in Sculptra. It's what's that bandage. It's a bandage material that actually dissolves in the skin and firms and plumps the skin. It's used in surgeries. It doesn't cause any kind of inflammation response. The body does not react to it. The body likes it. Those lips, you definitely want to get your, <laughs> pushed it right in my eye. Definitely want to get your Cavapla on those lips. Now, if your skin is really dry and you start putting on your Cavapilla like it did on my neck and it just goes in too fast and you don't have any slip to use your device, I'm going to use some of the Sculpta Mist and I'm going to mist my neck and my chest so I can do a little longer treatment and drive that PLLA into the skin. So a client asking a quick question, do you use Cavapla day and night? Now, if you want to use your Cavapla only once a day, I'd say use it during the day. That's when you're going to really see that plumping. That's when you're watching your skin to look its best. Um, but in this routine, we're using it twice a day, morning and night. Now, when would I not use it at night? So if I'm using a retinol, maybe you're using a retinol cream, maybe you're using Emma Pell retinol cream then I would use that at night instead of my Cavapla. But those of you who just want to do these essentials, just do your Cavapla twice a day. Simple, same routine, morning and night. Get my kitty whiskers. Okay, I've lost slip. So it's time to turn it off. If I wanted to keep going, I would just uh, mist some more with the stem cell mist from Tobe. Can you guys read that? There you go. Stem cell mist. All right. Next step is to grab your Hevatox Gold Serum. Now, when you get the serum, there's a metal, a plastic lid on top. When you pull that plastic lid off, it pulls 
the metal off of the center portion of the cap, but it leaves the metal around the outer portion of the cap. And that's okay to leave that metal on because this bottle is going to inject into the top like that. So you don't have to pull all the metal off of the edges. I made my husband pull that metal off the edges because I'm silly. It didn't, <laughs> I kind of took him down a rabbit hole helping me open this. And then we realized, oh, you don't even have to pull that off. You know, after getting out pliers and pulling it apart, you don't have to do that. Just pull off the little top part of the cap, stick this in, turn it over, get some of your gold in there. Oops. I'm usually using about a quarter. You can use more or less depending on the size of your face and how many areas you're treating. So I'm gonna treat all the areas that tend to have lines. So I'm going for my forehead. I really wanna get these little 11s. So this has a gold flex in it. It's got 600 ppm of gold and it's 99.5% pure gold. Why do we use gold? So what gold does is it actually oxygenates the skin. It actually increases the blood circulation. It has a, a kind of a magnetic mineral ability to increase your blood flow. So it's going to help with healing the skin. It's going to help drive these ingredients into the skin because when you increase the blood flow, then the blood is near the surface and it can actually draw those ingredients into your system. So We've got, actually, I don't know why I said that, the blood draw it into your system. This isn't going to penetrate into your bloodstream, not at all. But the increase in blood and oxygen do help the product to penetrate. <laughs> Clarify that for you. I'm getting on the top of my lips, getting my kitty whiskers. I want to get my neck. So I'm going to put some on here and get those lines on my neck. So this has got that oligopeptide 91. So this is the Botox on the surface of the skin. So we're not injecting Botox. We're using it on the surface to help relax those tiny little muscles and that surface tension of the skin that contributes to the um, deepening and um, of those lines and how they become more permanent on the face. So I've got the chest. My eye area, what you can do, if you wanna see where you have wrinkles, just kind of squinch up and you can see, okay, got some serious little wrinkles over here. Let's have some fun with those. Right down under here. Kitty whiskers. Okay. I think I got all those little trouble areas. <laughs> all right. Next step is your promoter repair cell moisturizer. And this is where I mentioned you have two choices. So you have the acne prone choice, or you have one more for a drier skin type. Let's see if the camera can pick it up. There you go. So I'm going to use the one for more aging and dry skin, not acne prone. I'm not acne prone. I think I get one blemish a month or something and it's pretty tiny. So it's usually a stress related kind of thing on my skin. So this is really nice and moisturizing. It gives you a really nice dewy finish. A dewy finish helps to really blur the lines on the skin and blur the texture of the skin. So the skin looks better. So we just look like us, only a little better. A little healthier, a little more glowing, lines less severe so we don't look tired. That's what our goal is. All right, now. I have two choices for eye cream. Today, what I grabbed from Dr. Estee, I've got the Cetox eye cream. This is really good for those people with really sunken under eye areas, um, more collagen loss going on. I'm going to use the Promoter Repair Cell eye cream. I like this little applicator with a metal on it, so I can just take it here and massage away. And I'm staying right on the orbital bone. And these, I get these lines up here. 
I like to be very expressive. I'm gonna hit those puppies, hit my kitty whiskers. I'm gonna hit that 11. Now you could use your eye rejuvenator with this if you have the eye rejuvenator. It'll work fine, let's get that other eye. And I'm gonna do a little bit more. I'm gonna get my upper lip. And then let's just pat, get any little leftovers worked into the skin. And now let's talk about the new exciting sunscreen. So this sunscreen it's called Sun Protection Ultra Repair, and it's for sensitive skin. It's also safe for acne-prone skin. It's a pretty rich and moisturizing sunscreen. And the neat thing is that this is a chemical sunscreen, but it's from Korea, and it uses the new chemicals that are improved. So it's not going to have that chemical reaction with the sun. It's not going to cause irritation to the skin or increase the potential for skin cancer. It um, blends with every skin color, all tones of skin. Um, the, the cool ones that are in here, Celine wrote down the names for me, so I'll be sure to read them to you guys. So it's got Tinosorb S, and she says to us, it's one of the best chemical SPS. It does not break down exposed to light. It's broad spectrum, so it's going to get UVA and UVB. It stabilizes other SPF filters. And it's very effective even in low concentrations. Then it also has um, Uvenol A+, plus, um, which is also highly photostable. Um, and it's most effective for UVA, which is really important for aging. And then it also has Mixoral SX, which also has all those same great benefits. So some of the problems we have with our mineral sunscreens is they can't, they're not always right for every skin tone. They cause the ghosting effect. Um, you know, the darker your skin, the harder it gets to work with them. And so in Korea, they came up and did a lot of research and came up with these ingredients. They are just way ahead of us here in the U.S. And so there's some, there chemical sunscreen is totally safe. It's not going to disrupt your hormones. It has no avobenzene in there. It is wonderful. So I'll just show you. There you go. Kind of see it. Massage it onto my skin. Feels really dewy and nice. So it's going to protect my skin barrier from dehydration. And it just feels so good. Now, if you have very oily skin, you're not going to want this one. You're not going to like it. But those of you with a drier skin type, you're really going to like this sunscreen. Okay. I think we did it. We made it through all the products. My skin feels really good. Now, I see still see this, but it's much softer than it was before. The lines on my forehead are softer around the lips. I've been doing the system for three or four days. So before I started, I did a before picture and I'm going to do it for a full 30 days. And so we can kind of see the difference um, in that time. Now, my husband, Michelle, did this for 30 days last year. And we didn't get good pictures because bad lighting, it just didn't work out. But what was really cool for him is he is really expressive. He has really deep lines all across here because he just, just he smiles, he talks and everything. He's always lifting these up. And so when we use this on him, it did not get rid of those lines. Absolutely not. They, I mean, he'd put it on and then a minute later he'd be up here <laughs> and just reinforcing him. But what we did see was a dramatic softness in the texture of his forehead and a softness in the lines. So even though they were there, they just didn't look so dry and rugged. They were much, much softer looking. So when you're using these, when you're using a topical Botox and a topical filler, 
they're not going to do the same thing if you were as you would do if you went in and had injections. What they are will do is that they will if you do get injections, they will help those to last longer. Or if you're like me and you just don't want to do injections at all, they have a nice softening effect, but they're not going to eliminate those lines at all. And, you know, you guys know my philosophy, to be honest, I really like a lot of my lines and I want those expression lines. Um, that's part of who I am, part of my wisdom, part of aging. I really want to be a model for aging gracefully and embracing the interestingness that goes with all the lines and folds of the skin as we age. So I'm not about completely removing those, but what I do really like is a really healthy glow and uh, a nice smooth texture with a good glow to the skin. And this really does do that. So I'm going to dive over here to questions and get in here with you guys and see what we have. A few of them I kind of picked up along the way, but we'll go through and make sure I see what I missed. Okay. Hit that one already. I'm kind of seeing which ones I already did. It says, can you use the curve with what you just did? So the curve, you could use the curve on the ultrasound setting. Um, the curve is just, if that's the only tool you have, do that. But the curve is kind of big, it's bulky, it's not as easy to, to get in there and really work a product into the skin. I mean, it's going to do that ultrasound for you on a bigger scale. The disc is pretty big and the, and the, unit itself is kind of bulky. I think I have one right here. Let me grab it for you guys. So our curve is designed for use on the body. So it's bigger. So this is the ultrasound part of the device here. This is the RF. The ultrasound part of the device you could use it that way, but it's hard as you can see it's hard to get into the little areas with that device. So it's just not as friendly for driving in the serums into the skin. But if it's all that you have, it will work. If you have the skin flower or a, a skin scrubber, a spatula, you can use that on the flip side and that will drive products in. You can use the My Skin Buddy and you can use the Wave. Any ultrasound device can push those ingredients into the skin. Let's see what we have next. If you can please put the information on the device for penetration, I would, okay, I'll let Ben know. Ben, we have somebody here who would like to have the links to the Wave and maybe some of the other devices that they could use for penetration. You could use your TMP for penetration and we have two forms of the TMP. We have one with electrical muscle stimulation and one without. I'm one of those people that prefers not to have the EMS um, some of us are more sensitive to it than others. If you have a more sensitive skin or a sensitive system, you can now get the TMP without the EMS. If you are using the TMP with your EMS, don't put it on the strongest setting. Um, you know, when you feel muscle stimulation and twitching going on, that's too strong. That means that you are actually going to deplete the cell of ATP and you're going to cause lactic buildup. So keep it on the lower settings and your skin will actually respond better. You'll get better results from it. So that's a little side note on the TMP. Okay, so yes, we'll get these listed. Da -da. All righty, I'm going down. Can you use this on your eyelids? No, none of these are designed for your eyelids. Even if you're using the product for the eyes, you can use it on the orbital bone, but not down here on this part of your eyelid. It, these products travel. So putting this on the orbital bone is going to be all that you need. If you put it in this area, it's going to travel down into your lash line, into your eyes. It's going to cause a lot of puffiness. Cavapla is a big puffer, plumper, extraordinaire. If you put this onto your eye area, you're going to have puffy eyes. And we don't want puffy eyes. So don't use that on your eye area. And, and the only device that you want to use on your eye area really is the eye rejuvenator. Or you can use the My Skin Buddy. Or, no, excuse me. You can use the 
<laughs> we have so many devices, right? The Clairblend Mini, you could use that a bit around the eye area. But even then, you're not going down onto the actual lids of the eyes. Um, this person here, Dove, is saying, what is the device you use? Okay, so this, we'll get it listed for you guys down in the description. I'm sorry, I, I snuck this one in on Ben. He got all the devices on. I didn't tell him I was going to use this one, So or all the products on. This device is called the MBK Wave. It can be used for cleansing and it can be used for driving your serums and things into your skin. And, and it also has LED. So pretty cool device. This is my favorite. It's the one that I use all the time. Okay. Let's see. I feel like my skin is getting dry with sunscreens. Can I use the Dr. Estee sunscreen alone or should I combine, for example, the Promoter Repair Moisturizer with the sunscreen from Dr. Estee? Yes, some sunscreens, especially sunscreens that have a lot of minerals in them, can sometimes feel very drying on the skin or partway through the day make your skin feel dry. Now, keep in mind, it's really important to hydrate your skin. So you want to use serums that push water into the skin. Vitamin C is a good hydrator, hyaluronic acid. Use a moisturizer maybe that has some hyaluronic acid and vitamin C in it. Use good moisturizers under your sunscreen. You cannot use sunscreen alone to feed the skin. Sunscreen is supposed to stay on the surface and protect the surface of the skin. It's not going in and providing that moisture and hydration deeper into the skin that you need. So I use my serums um, and I use that Scopla Promoter Repair Moisturizer. Then I'm putting my sunscreen on and then I'm putting foundation on. So I'm putting a lot of layers on to really help me protect my skin barrier. Hi, Valentina. She says she's glad to see me with my brace off. I, if I could just bend my fingers, that would be good. This is fun. I, when I got my nails done, we couldn't touch this nail. So I have one pink, pink pinky that I cannot bend, <laughs> but I start physical therapy next week. So that'll be good. All right. Let's see who's next here. Um, is the new sunscreen less sticky than others? I use is clinical and I do like it, but not the sticky feeling. So that I would, I'm not, I wouldn't call it sticky, but I would call it, there is, it has a thicker feel on the skin. So it sounds like you're wanting a sunscreen that is lighter in texture. This one is not lighter in texture. It feels really moisturizing on the skin. So I would say this is going to feel more sticky. I'm racking my head here for a quick off the top of my head, sunscreen, that has a more matte finish would be like um, our AOS Prime and Protect has a matte finish. Um, they're in Sorella. Sorella has a tropical matte sunscreen that you might like. Reach out to live chat too. There's more of them. I just can't think of them all off the top of my head. I know that um, Face Reality has an ultimate SPF that has a matte finish. So there are, we do have ones with a matte finish, but I like a moist, hydrating, sticky, I guess you could call it sticky here. I don't like sticky on my skin either, but I do like a more moist and radiant, glowy finish. And I know a lot of us were trained from when we were young that we wanted to have a matte finish and we should just like matte finish. But the problem is once you hit 50 and over, if you keep using things with matte finish on your skin, they just accentuate every line on your face and make you look older. So when you get a little uh, more dewy products onto your skin, they might have a little bit of a sticky feel, but they're also going to have a nice blur effect that helps that skin to, to look younger or more youthful. Uh, Celine says that she has oily skin and she loves it. So, you know, maybe you just have to get it and try it. Celine doesn't think that it feels sticky. You know, everybody, everybody has different words for describing how things feel. So her perspective is that it's not thick or heavy. She likes it on her oily skin. Harvin says, what is the SPF on the sunscreen? And... Sorry, I turned my head in. Does it have a moisturizer built into it? It is very moisturizing, but like I said, it's more of a barrier 
protection moisturizer. It's going to prevent um, transepidermal water loss, but that doesn't mean you don't put moisturizing things underneath it. You've still got to get some at least light moisturizers that bring water into the skin on underneath it and SPF on this puppy. Hey, Celine, pop in here and give us the SPF. I think that possibly it doesn't have its SPF rating, looking with my glasses, because um, the U.S. is behind the times. And they are not rating these um, chemical sunscreens yet because we have not started using them in the U.S. But, oh, I'm wrong. I'm so glad. I'm, I'm just talking up whatever. So I finally found it. It's on there. Little tiny writing, which you have to wear glasses to read. And it says 50 plus. And maybe Celine can come on here and tell us. Then it also says PA plus, 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 plus. Maybe she could tell us what that PA++++ is if she's still watching on here. So sorry about that, you guys. It's a 50. That's the best you can get, really. Okay. Caddy says, if you were only able to get one device, which would be the best for dealing with deep lines around the mouth specifically? We debate about this. Lauren and I debate about it all the time because a lot of people, we all really love the TMP. That really helps with plumping that area and you can do it every day. So you might start with that. Um, for me, I like a more multifunctional device. So I like the Wave because I can do so many things with it. But if I were just using something on my lips and for plumping, I would choose the TMP. That would be my choice. Okay. Oh, next question. Could I use the Hevatox pads without the gold ampule or are they meant to work together? So you can use those pads without the gold ampule. The pads are going to do all the great benefits of clearing the pores, firming the skin, reducing texture, lightening up dark spots, and it's gonna help your skin to absorb any serums that you put on after it. It's really enhancing the penetration of any other products that you use. So you can certainly use those pads and then use any of the other serums that you like with those. Um, Sherry is saying tacky with the word instead of sticky, tacky. Depends on what you're using it with, I would say, because I've got a lot of layers on my skin today, and I would say my skin feels a little tacky, but you saw I used a lot of Cavapla today, all those different layers. I think if I just use it over a light, I also use the really, that's probably could be what it is. I use the really new heavy promoter repair moisturizer and then put it on top of there. And I think that's contributing to the tacky feel I feel. But I believe that if I had used the Acne Safe, this one, let's do the test here. Ooh, this feels so silky. Even the Acne Safe one just has such a really nice silky feel on the skin. It's amazing. Now let's put on the sunscreen on there. I'm going to give you my Opinion. Yeah. So it does not feel, it does not feel sticky or tacky if you're using it on the right product underneath or the, the product that works for you underneath. If you're using that lighter moisturizer, it doesn't feel tacky at all. But I believe that the promoter repair for aging skin is meant it has a lot of shea butter in it. It's really meant for that really dry skinned person who just needs all that extra barrier protection. And it's probably more than I need. And that's why I feel a little bit tacky. My skin tends to do better with the lighter moisturizers, but I still like the thick one. It feels really good. <laughs> okay. Um, Valentina says, I like a matte finish because I top it off with a finishing spray. Yes, like the stem cell mist or the Lemieux Oh My Glow mist. Yeah, you could definitely top those off and that will give you a nice glow. You definitely have to work 
with yourself and work with all your products. I mean, you certainly do not need to have every product you use leave a really dewy finish on your skin. Mainly, your important thing is finishing off whatever you finish with, whether it's a finishing spray. Sometimes um, we use that resveratrol B5 gel. I think it's resveratrol gel from Rhonda Allison. I often use that as a finisher because it gives the skin that really nice, glowy, luminous finish. There's a lot of different things that you could use, and you certainly don't need to layer on tons um, do we finish or you could feel a little taggy like I'm feeling right now? Okay. Sophie says, are there any new skincare devices coming out soon? Well, little bird told me there is a new device coming out and it's launch. It's, it's launch date should be beginning to mid November. So you'll learn more about it. We'll talk about it more soon. Um, have I tried the new Hop All Mineral Sunscreen? I think I did. We need Celine to pop in here. I did try that one. I believe that it was just to, is that the one that's called BB Cream? Oh, sorry, you guys. I'm just not up on the sunscreens with Sculpla. This has been the first one that I really like. Um, the other ones just feel heavy to me. They're just a bit thick. Yes. So that's what Celine's piping in here to tell you guys is yes, it was a bit thick and it's very fair. You have to be very fair to use it or it's going to give you a pretty significant white cast. But Celine says, but it's not thick. It's the texture is dewy and smooth, but it has a white cast. I should have brought it over here and done one side of my face for you guys. I'm always blowing it when it comes to bringing over the sunscreens from Tove. All right. Well, we made it through all the questions. Are there any last little questions before we sign off today? Thank you all so much for joining me, being here. And I hope that you all learned some new tips and tricks for getting your skin healthy and glowing today. Yes. And Celine, Melissa says, thank you, Celine. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for being here. Have a wonderful afternoon and we will see you next week. Oh, and just so you know, emails went out today. We have a special sale tomorrow. It's a one day only. Rhonda Allison does this once a year. So tomorrow, Rhonda Allison is 20% off just for 24 hours. So that's the time to get that resveratrol gel or any of your other favorite things from Rhonda Allison. So that's a little tip for you. Have a great day and we'll see you next week. Hmm.